welcome back to my channel. I never thought I'd be filming this video, honestly. I wanted to. I really wanted to do this for so long, but I never thought I would actually cave and buy anything from Shantikai. Who am I? I mean, I never buy luxury. The most luxury thing I had in my collection until now was my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is like, not really luxury. It's like very high-end, but like, I don't think NARS is considered luxury. I'm so excited though! It has taken me every ounce of willpower not to touch the products. I opened up the packaging to see the inside, but I didn't touch them, swatch them, anything. I'm gonna do that live with you. Every other luxury brand does not intrigue me in the slightest. I feel like most of the time their color stories are very boring to me. Regulus wants attention, so if you see him in the back, that's what's happening. But Shantikai, I've always been so enthralled by their brand. Some of you might find them boring, like so overpriced. I mean, they are so overpriced, or at least I think they are. I hope the products are good though, because like, if I paid this much money and like got... <laughs> my cat is rubbing against me, it's kind of distracting. If I paid that much money and the products suck, I'm gonna be so disappointed and like, I won't buy from them again, but... If they are good, or really good, I, I might honestly. All of their releases pretty much are themed around animals, and I just, like, the animal packaging gets me. I'll put up some of their things so you guys can get an idea if you don't really know the brand, but like, I just, it's simple, it's sleek, but it's my kind of luxury packaging. The second thing that really pulls me into the brand is the fact that they not only feature animals on their packaging, but every collection that's themed around an animal, uh, they give some of the proceeds from those sales to a charity that helps out those kinds of animals. So they had an elephant one, they did a hummingbird collection. If you can hook me in with any kind of charity work with makeup, it's animals. I first got two of the lip cheeks from their hummingbird collection. I won't lie. I am into pretty packaging. I'm not one of those people that doesn't care about packaging. Packaging will often sway me into purchasing something, but I will say I love the look of these. The component does feel very luxe. It is a magnetic closure. <laughs> and I dropped it. Well, at least there wasn't the shadows. Like, I, I would have freaked out. I got the pink called Coral Bell, and I also got the orange called Passion Flower. The next thing I got was one of their blushes, and I will say I was kind of disappointed upon opening the packaging of this one because it's like, it's so tiny. I was wondering why the blushes were less expensive than the lipsticks. Now I understand why it's so tiny. It's like a mini blush. The shade I got is called Grace and it is the turtle one. I will say the packaging is absolutely stunning. Like, I love this. It's so cute. I'm hoping the shimmer on the turtle isn't just an overspray. I have a sneaking suspicion it is. Basically every one of their blushes is themed around a different animal and some of the other shades were more my style, but the one that really caught my eye was the cute turtle, so I went with this one, even though out of all the blushes it was probably the most neutralish one. And the very last thing I got is the butterfly eye quartet. It's so cute. It's so cute. The packaging is so my style. Like the like colorful metallic. This was the most expensive thing though, so I don't know if it's gonna be worth it. Um, I don't know. I think I first wanna start with lips. My lips are pretty bare right now. I didn't really prime or anything. I think I wanna start with the orangey one because I think I'm gonna be wearing the pink one for the rest of the video. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm hoping for before we start applying. I'm hoping that this formula is very creamy and almost like semi sheer. I just want a wash of color that looks very glossy. Like that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, I do want to mention these smell like heavenly. I think the smell is vanilla, but they smell much better than like other vanilla scented lipsticks I own. Okay, so it's not fully opaque, which I'm glad about. It is really pretty. Oh my gosh, this is 
actually so stunning. Like while I was putting it on, I was just like, wow. Like, can you get this effect at a much lower price range? Yes, you can. I would say the most similar thing I have to this is my Lamp Crime Lip Pops. Um, like the way it feels on the lips, it feels very nourishing and it looks very like glossy and healthy. But I would say this gives more of like a semi sheer finish. The lip pops are more thick and more like um, bam pigment on first swipe. This is exactly what I was looking for and I'm so happy it is. Should I keep it on and just try the pink one at the end? I might do that because like I don't want to take it off yet. This is so so comfortable. It literally feels like so... It feels very hydrating on the lips. I think I want to move on to the blush now. I'm praying that this is not overspray, please. Yeah, it's... I'm thinking it's overspray. I like barely dipped it in and like it's mostly gone. I thought since it's like more of like a luxury formula it was gonna be very sheer. Uh, it might be. It might just be me that like picked it up a lot to see if it was overspray. I mean, blush is pretty easy to formulate so I'm not... I don't think this is gonna be bad, you know. This is what it looks like once the overspray is gone. This is a very pretty blush. It's probably the most like neutral blush I own. That doesn't make it bad. I mean, I chose the color I knew it was gonna be. I think what I like most about it is that it actually gives kind of a bronzed look. I feel like this blush just makes me look like I was like on a vacation in the tropics. I will say, even without the overspray, this blush is actually kind of glowy. Like not extremely glowy. I do have some blushes that are even more glowy than this, but this just looks like glowy in a very natural, way it just looks like you're naturally glowing i don't know i might be a shawty guy girl okay now onto the shadows and i'm both excited and scared to try these in person none of these shades is really matte uh it looks like we have a satin a metallic and the other shades look like kind of like a mix between satins and metallic i would say this is like a neutral brown with the slight gold flip. Ooh, the next one is very creamy though. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, it's, wow. Okay, so you see green from here, or I see pink. Oh my gosh, that's stunning. Okay, so this I am absolutely certain is gonna be my favorite. This is what this one looks like. It looks like kind of a peachy. And then the last one, again, seems like more of that satiny formula. It doesn't look as shifty on my arm. On my finger it looked like a brown to a taupe. I think I'm just gonna go in with my fingers because that's just what I'm feeling. I feel like Shantikai makeup is just like easy makeup. You can just apply it with your fingers. That's the vibe I'm getting at least. So I'm first gonna start with the first shade in the top. I think I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. It's a very subtle shade. Like it's definitely a satin which I don't work with often, but like, I mean, I don't hate it. It's gonna take a very fluffy brush, don't worry. It's not uh, dirty, it's just stained. I'm just gonna buff the edges out. Ooh, that does blend out really well with the brush. So I feel like these shades are very easy to work with. Okay, I don't hate this actually. Um, I don't think this is gonna be my new everyday look, but I might actually reach for that a few times this summer. Just like dust this all over. It was super quick and easy. This is much more of an intense shift than I was expecting. Oh my gosh, okay. I was so scared I was gonna be disappointed. And I'm not, I mean, this palette though is really overpriced, but I mean, if they donate part of the money, I guess that makes sense that the price would be higher. This is stunning. This is probably one of the most stunning shades I own in my collection. I don't even know if it's showing on camera. It's so shimmery and shifty and it looks like almost semi sheer in certain lights. I think I next want to use the brush with this shade. It's actually blending very well. I think this is my least favorite shade so far. It's not ugly. It's just less my style. Now let's try the cute pinky one. I'm gonna put that on the inner part of the lower lash line. I 
feel like it does what it's supposed to do. Like it really highlights in a subtle way. Okay, I put on the rest of my makeup. I was very inspired by this ethereal green. So I used the chartreuse shade in my Kat Von D Metal Crush. I just dropped the blush, so it's okay. It seems to be sturdy packaging, which I'm glad about. Okay, now I'm just gonna try on this last lip shade. I actually still don't want to take this lip off because I think it's so pretty. I'm really feeling this look right now. This looks more corally in real life than on the website. I mean, I kind of should have expected it with the name being Coral Bell. One thing I forgot to mention while swatching the first shade is surprisingly, this formula in the tube is pretty stiff. I feel like normally, uh, the kind of formulas that are more on the sheer side and more like glossy they tend to be very like emollient and as soon as you put them on the lips they like melt on your lips but this is really more of a stiff formula it still melts onto the lips but not as quickly it's not like you touch it and it's like it's melting and like almost smearing all over this is more like it softly melts and like evenly distributes the product This is one layer of it. It's like a very soft, like rosy pink. I'm gonna build it up more because I want to see like how well it builds up. So this is what Coral Bell looks like built up. It does get just as glossy as the orange one was. But yeah, you guys, this was it. I got to try Shantikai products. I'm so excited. I personally, don't feel like I wasted my money, which I had a suspicion I might feel like that like after trying the products. It's like you have this dream of trying it and then you're like, it probably won't be as good as I expect, right? Especially because it's like such a high price tag and you're like, it probably won't be worth it. I'm not gonna buy from them all the time, but I definitely can see myself purchasing from Shantikai again in the future. Tell me what you guys think down below. I'm so curious. Like, have you guys ever bought from Shantikai? Are you even remotely interested in their products. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out and tells me that you enjoy this kind of content. And if you do like this kind of content, although, as I mentioned, I will not be doing luxury reviews a lot. So don't expect those, but I do tend to do really colorful looks normally, a lot of indie brands. So if you're into that, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. That being said, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.